Hey, what is going on Wildlife X team? This is Michael here and in today's video we are going to be talking about whether or not we can domesticate raccoons, why we probably can't, and where the raccoon species is headed. <laughs> So as you know, raccoons are furry, cute looking creatures, and if we can control them 100%, they would actually be extremely valuable to humans. They're able to climb up trees, uh, climb up just about anything, and they actually have very fine motor skills like humans, and so they're able to move their hand around and they can open about any door, any jar, any lid. They can open just about anything humans can because they are primarily um, foragers and instinctual creatures and so they're always using their hands to be able to open and explore new things. Dogs and cats really help us because dogs, not so much now, but back a few hundred years ago, they would actually alert us to intruders, they could help you hunt, cats would keep rodents away, that was actually the original reason we even had cats around is because we could get rid of rodents, rats especially. And so if we could control a raccoon, it could maybe help old people get things in high up cabinets, or it could just explore different things, go in tight spaces. But unfortunately, they're not currently domesticated. And so we're gonna be going over in this video some reasons why they can't be domesticated and uh, potentially the future of domestication of raccoons. The number one reason why we can't domesticate raccoons and why attempts at domesticating raccoons have failed is because raccoons are not social creatures. They tend to be very isolated and they are kind of just doing their own thing. They're thinking in terms of independence, whereas cats and dogs tend to be more social creatures. Cats being less social than dogs, but cats still, if you raise a kitten, then the cat is going to think that you're its parent, it's going to love you, and it's going to create a bond or a connection with you, even though it is primarily independent. And dogs, as we all know, love to please their master. That's kind of their biogenetic makeup. And so when you raise a dog, they also get that bond, that connection, but they also want to serve man. It's just in their instincts to do that. And some scientists actually think that dogs naturally evolved from wolves over thousands of years to serve humans because they were able to get scraps from humans and then they think that even before breeding of dogs began that dogs or rather wolves at the time were evolving to be coexisting with mankind and eventually be subservient to mankind for their own survival. People have attempted to breed raccoons and even raccoons that have been bred over several generations, uh, you know, tame a wild raccoon and then breed it, breed it, breed it. The raccoons still are isolated, they're kind of just in their own thing and it's in their instinct to be very aggressive, isolated, curious, and they kind of just do what they want to do. So even though we can take a dog that's probably a little bit more wild and we can tame it and then domesticate over and over and breed for positive qualities, eventually that's going to work for dogs, but so far there have been no successful attempts at domesticating a raccoon. Also, raccoons are very curious creatures. They kind of just do what they want to do. So they aren't easily house trained. So they, they don't take orders from anyone. And even though you can condition them to do a few things, taming them, nonetheless breeding them and domesticating them is something that has not successfully been done yet. They're still curious and aggressive and that's one of the reasons too why it's not really practical to attempt to domesticate and have a pet raccoon is because they tend to be very aggressive. Whenever they get upset, hungry, frustrated, stressed out for whatever reason, they like to bite. And they also are very curious so they can open cabinets up, tear things up, they can tear a bed sheet up, they can really mess things up if they get aggravated. Also because they're very curious, they aren't meant to be in a single space. Cats tend to be okay with being in a single area. While they are curious of the outdoors, they will always return to their natural home. Raccoons, on the other hand, are foragers and they just explore. They don't really have a set, sedentary home. So if you trap them in an isolated location, 
they're going to get stressed out, so they're going to get aggressive, so they're going to attack you or bite you or whatever, but then if you let them roam free, they're just so curious and instinctual that they're not going to return back to you, and it's very likely that they're just going to leave anyways. Even if they've been bred for a long period of time, that's still what has happened. Raccoons are also master thieves. Like I said, they have hands just like us. So they can pick things up, they can open doors, open lids, even open jars. They're very smart in terms of their fine motor ability. And so even if you try to put them in a certain area, they're probably going to find their own way out. They can climb things, they can open doors. Sooner or later, they're gonna find a way to escape just because it's in their natural instinct. Whereas with a cat or a dog, all you have to do is close the door and they're not going to have too much resistance. Or in the case with a dog, you sometimes don't even need to put it on a leash because it understands that you're the owner and it's very submissive to you and so it's going to do whatever you say and stay close to you. Raccoons on the other hand, they don't take orders, they don't listen to you, they're going to do their own thing. So to summarize, raccoons have not been successfully domesticated yet. We have yet to figure out how to do that and while that may happen in the future, in the meantime trying to tame or domesticate a raccoon is not going to be successful and it could turn out very bad for you. You could get hurt because they tend to be a liability with all the biting they like to do. They could scratch things up. Uh, they've also attempted to try condition a raccoon to use the restroom in a litter box. That almost never happens, so even if you tried to create a litter box, a raccoon is still probably going to use the restroom all around in different places, which would be a huge mess for you. So, even though uh, I'm saying that it appears raccoons can't be domesticated, you can find several videos online of people claiming to have domesticated a raccoon and so now I want to break down some of the reasons why it might appear that raccoons have been domesticated and why they actually are not. The first and number one reason is that people only like to share positive stuff on social media. So when people are posting videos or photos of like, oh cool, this raccoon is in my house and it's acting all nice or it's being friendly. Remember, that's just an isolated event. That doesn't mean that the raccoon is going to coexist with the human. And for cases where a raccoon has been living around humans for a long period of time, after researchers have kind of looked into it, it appears more so that instead of domestication, there's a mutual understanding of coexistence. So again, it's not that the raccoon has been domesticated with the human, it's that the raccoon does its own thing and the human does its own thing because it just doesn't work well together at all. So remember, if you see any photos or videos, that doesn't mean that every raccoon is going to act like that or whatever. And more times than not, the raccoon could be aggressive or whatever. So don't try to domesticate or tame a wild raccoon. Another reason a raccoon might appear to have been domesticated by a human could be just due to peer conditioning. What conditioning is, is it means you give a reward or a punishment for a certain action. So for example, I'm gonna have a video pop up right now of someone that would reward a raccoon with food for grabbing a little sweeper and just doing a quick little sweep. So it appears on video, on the front side of things, it almost looks like this person trained a raccoon to sweep for them, but keep in mind, it's only happening for a few seconds and the raccoon is only doing it for food. Once the food stops coming, the action is going to stop. And also remember, raccoons are very instinctual creatures, so when the human leaves and the, leaves the raccoon to do its own thing, the raccoon isn't going to pick up and start sweeping because it knows it's not going to get food. So instead, it's going to open the fridge, it's going to steal things, it's going to hurt things and mess things up and whatnot. And so just keep in mind that conditioning does not equal domestication. Domestication is very different than conditioning. Conditioning is just one simple action for one simple reward. And remember, people are only taking videos of the positive conditioning, so it might appear a raccoon has been domesticated when really it's just a single event where the raccoon has been conditioned to do a certain thing for a reward, and then it goes back to its natural instinct. A final thing we'd like to add is that domesticating a raccoon or attempting to tame a wild raccoon does no good for anyone. 
We've already went over it that it's near impossible and has actually never been done before to domesticate a wild raccoon and uh, so don't try to do it. Wild raccoons are very curious, explorative creatures and so locking it in a certain area to try to keep it in the confines of your own home is going to be very detrimental to its health and it's probably going to try hurt you because it's going to get aggressive, it's going to feel um, you know, claustrophobic or whatever, it's just not going to be good for the raccoon. And then trying to domesticate it as an outdoor pet also isn't going to work because the, remember, the wild raccoon is probably just going to have its instincts pop in once it gets outside and it's just going to run off and do its own thing. It's also illegal in several states and potentially even countries, so don't attempt this. Let the wild raccoons do its own thing and you do your own thing. We'd like to add one more note about the future too. This could change over the next 1,000 years or 500 years even. It has already been proven that you could take a group of white humans, put them in Africa and due to natural selection, within about 1,000 years, the species is gonna go from white to black. The same is going to be from Africa to say Norway. If you were to take a ton of Africans and they would have darker skin and then put them in Norway where in the winter you're going to have less sunlight, less intensity of the sunlight, and it's going to be colder. Within about a thousand years, natural selection is going to change the entire species to white. So what does this mean for raccoons? As we become more and more urban, raccoons could be adapting to become more uh, coexistent with humans. Maybe even eventually, in the next few hundred years, we'll be able to start domesticating raccoons due to natural selection. It appears that violence rates between raccoons and humans has been going down. This could be due to a number of factors, or it could just be natural selection. If a vicious raccoon is going out and attacking humans, it's not going to live for very long. People are going to kill the raccoon or call wildlife control and euthanize the raccoon, and so it's probably not going to reproduce. So therefore, raccoons that are nicer and not so aggressive to humans are going to be more likely to reproduce. And so this happens over the course of hundreds and hundreds of years, maybe even up to thousands of years, um, depending on where humans go, you know, it's a long ways from now. But it's very possible that in, in the next few hundred years that raccoons could become getting domesticated just due to natural selection and because they are urban creatures living near humans constantly. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Don't try to domesticate a raccoon. Don't try to tame a raccoon. It can't be done right now. It might change in the future as natural selection and evolution and all that happen to the raccoon species. But for right now, raccoons are not very good to domesticate. So don't do it. Don't try to do it. And uh, unfortunately, it can't be done. So look at the raccoon. It's cute but don't try and play with it because it's not going to be like a cat. It's not going to be like a dog. Let it do its own thing. Let it be happy in the wild and you do your own thing. So we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit thumbs up if you enjoyed this entertaining video and leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions for us and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. My name is Michael with Wildlife X Team. Have a great day.